was there, of course. Secretary General again, and his colleagues, and our discussion. Economic problems, which of uh, many, I think many producing countries, oil producers, would feel that an increase in the price of oil, as they see it, has uh, been long overdue to redress the balance in their terms of trade with the rest of the world. But of course, the abruptness of uh, these events uh, and its very unequal effects for individual countries has caused uh, very great problems indeed, uh, particularly in third world countries, those who are fortunate enough to be producers of oil or of other commodities in short supply and currently uh, <coughs> carrying a high price. Some of those, of course, have not suffered, some have actually gained. Others have seen the increased oil price offset by what they're able to achieve by selling other uh, basic commodities, but still others, already poor, already facing perhaps um, disaster, whether through flood, through drought, or other natural causes, have found that they get, they have to meet a heavy surcharge both for oil prices and for other commodity prices, and this is intensifying and deepening the economic division between nations. Good morning, Judge. <laughs> On Saturday night in the old...
very brief report on the record, of course, uh, about our discussions this morning, which have been very thorough and very helpful in the limited time available. This is a privilege to go over a pretty wide area uh, of matters of fundamental importance uh, to the United Nations organization and to the peace of the world. We began with a um, fairly thorough discussion of the uh, Middle East situation uh, as it uh, at present stands and prospects for the future, following our own uh, meetings in Washington and of course in advance of the visit the Foreign and Commonwealth Secretary and I will be paying to the Soviet Union in uh, 10 days time. We then went on to the um, present uh, state of affairs in relation to Cyprus, uh, where we believe that the initiative taken by the United Nations uh, last summer and autumn uh, is uh, of fundamental importance for guiding relations there for the future. And uh, the Foreign and Commonwealth Secretary, uh, who has been very much concerned in these matters right from the beginning of the trouble last summer, and who is, of course, one of the uh, co um, guarantors, is that right, Jim? Co depositories, what are you in this? Yeah. Co guarantor uh, of the 1960 treaty, uh, was able to give. Uh, our view of the situation as we saw it. We then got on to a number of general matters affecting uh, the United Nations and our desire for um, its greater success in all directions. And we paid particular attention here uh, to economic risk, how far we could begin to look ahead, to go back to some of the idealism which, which many of us were concerned just after the war, to try and ensure, so far as it's humanly possible, some kind of guarantees for the future, for these countries in particular, in relation to the prices, export earnings, and so on, of some of the commodities on which their whole economy subsists. This, particularly in so far as it might affect uh, agricultural raw materials, one's thinking of fertilizer, feeding stuffs, and so on, will be of great benefit not only to the countries who produce these commodities, but also to the farming and agricultural community throughout the world, particularly uh, the um, developing agricultures of what are still barely more than subsistence economies. Mr. Secretary General, I hope I've reported fairly on what we have discussed. Uh, we have got through a, a remarkable amount of business in a very short time, and I would like to thank the Secretary General and his colleagues for giving us the opportunity. Thank you.